guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're doing a quick little update on the free tee. So we did a video on running all the brake lines and get everything bent up, flared up, and all set. Uh, I mentioned in the, uh, the last video that we had the wrong master cylinder. I have to apologize to Amazon. It was actually a mistake on my part. Um, I know Amazon doesn't give a but anyways. Uh, it was my mistake. Uh, basically the pedals, I had an F3 or larger pedal bracket on there and it, they actually take a larger master cylinder. So in between the last uh, video, I basically figured that all out. Uh, I swapped out my pedals with an F1 bracket that fit the master cylinder we had and I just had to fill and drill some holes to get everything fitted up. But uh, through the magic of uh, YouTube, it's all done. So now what we're gonna show you guys today is basically a quick little video on bleeding the brakes. Uh, so I have a fun little tool that helps me get uh, the brakes bled like 90% of the way really quickly. So we'll show you that, get them all bled up and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't fight me too much and we get all the air out of the system really quickly. So let's get started. All right, so we went around the whole car and got all of the uh, major amounts of air out of the system. Uh, and I just basically did it really quickly by myself with the, uh, the self-quitting kit. And uh, that worked really well. And that's how I usually get like 80 to 90% of the air out of the system. And you can get the brakes going from a dry system to getting fluid to all four wheels in, in a matter of you know, 15, 20 minutes if you're pretty quick at it. Uh, you can get it going really, really quickly. So what I like to do for the last time around then is just to have a helper uh, pump the pedal up and do it kind of the old school way and put some pressure on it to help force out that last little bit of air that might be trapped in the lines. And uh, usually taking a pass or two doing that is all that you need to do and then the system's uh, ready to go. So we're gonna run around, get all that done and hopefully we'll have some working brakes here soon.
see if we uh, if the brake pedal works. See, give that pedal a push and see if it. Uh... Oh, there's a torque team moving. Say we got brakes. Yeah. <laughs> it looks yeah. like it'll stop on its own. Awesome. Everything rolls. Yes. All right, so we got the brakes all bled up. It actually went really, really well. Um, I think because I had so much trouble with the pedal cluster uh, debacle and the master cylinder, uh, the brakes uh, actually bleeding, they, they, uh, they made it easy on me. So I also got the drive shaft all hooked up. That's something I didn't really show on camera, but because the, uh, the brake line actually attaches to the torque tube, uh, I pulled that all apart uh, off camera, slid the uh, drive shaft on and just basically connected and greased everything. So that's basically on. Good to go, I just gotta put the safety wire on the bolts for the uh, rear flange for the torque tube, and that's all good. Uh, but the best thing is, we have brakes. We have a, a nice, stiff pedal, and it's not everything's not connected, but it's not rolling, so it uh, rolls easily with the brakes off. So, pretty awesome that we have all the brakes working. Uh, we got them adjusted pretty darn close when we had everything on the bench, so uh, it's just gonna take a tiny bit of tweaking to get them uh, perfect, but I'm really happy with it. This is important because uh, the body basically is channeled so hard. It's really hard to get to this stuff with the body on, so I'd like to take care of it now so that we don't really need to do it and take the body on and off a bunch of times. Uh, the other thing that I did is I added um, a return spring here. So I actually took a stock spring that fits on the pin uh, that goes through for the clevis, and I drilled a little hole in the uh, in the cross member, and just basically kind of pulled the, the spring apart to get it sitting where I wanted, and now the spring has a nice return to it, and everything is good. So really happy with how all this came out, and this is a huge step in the right direction. We have working brakes. It's like almost a car, I think. Not really, but it's kind of like a car. So. Uh, we are just about ready to get the body and the engine back. Uh, we're sh shooting for the end of this month, end of uh, June, to have all of that back so that we can put everything together. Uh, so we're, we're deb debuting the car at Viva East. Uh, that We're going to drop a flyer right here for you guys. So Viva East, uh, we are debuting the car and you guys can come check it out. And the car will be like 90% done. It'll basically look badass. Uh, it just might not actually be drivable quite yet. But uh, we'll have most of it all done, and I'm really excited for you guys to check it out. Uh, thank you for watching. We do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. If you haven't, definitely subscribe because uh, it's going to be pretty cool to see this thing all finished up, and I want you guys to check it out. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.